this rant time. I don't know how much I'm going to actually rant, but there's something I want to get off my chest here. Um, and I've kind of, I'm kind of like sounding off on this uh, at the very end of the situation, really, because people have been talking about this for years now. Um, well, maybe not years, maybe a year. Um, basically, The Rock is my thing, and I've made videos about it in the past. I mean, I made that video where I said, you know, am I Team Rock or am I Team Team Cena? And I said I'm Team Neither because it, it was frustrating to me because. Uh, and you can go back and watch that video if you want. Um, it'll probably take you a while to scroll through all my videos. But uh, 2011, The Rock came back. Uh, it was awesome. You know, February 2011, he came out. No one expected it. I didn't expect it, to be honest. I didn't expect him to ever come back in any capacity, let alone wrestle again. He came back, did this promo, and, you know, I was caught up in it. I was like, oh, this is awesome. But I kind of knew underneath, like, you know... Um, the promo wasn't that great, you know. I mean, yeah, it was enjoyable and it was classic rock and stuff. Um, but it, you know, it was just the moment, you know. Just the fact he came back was was the best part about it. And then you know, he did this stuff with Cena, and he had that little kid who was dressed in the Cena clothes. That was hilarious. I thought, wow, the Rock's really back. This is awesome. And then you know, you take a guy like the Miz who had worked so hard and you know achieved basically a dream that not many people can say that they've achieved. I mean, only I guess you know technically around 60, probably less than that because a lot of people have repeated main events but only about, I don't know, maybe 40 people can say they've main event in Wrestlemania and Miz is one of those guys but he didn't really, you know, it was really The Rock and John Cena show at Wrestlemania 27 and I, I, it bugged me when he came out, I mean up, up until Wrestlemania I was like, this is cool, The Rock's hosting Wrestlemania Rock comes out at the beginning of Wrestlemania and does like a 10 minute promo where he literally said to the crowd I say yabba, you say dabba and I was like, okay, well, this isn't raw, you know, this is getting on with the actual show, yeah? And then I realized that Danny Bryan and Sheamus had been cut, which was the match I was actually looking forward to the most on the show, and I was absolutely gutted, and it really pissed me off. And it was kind of like a case of WrestleMania 4 where everyone knew Hogan was coming out, so it was just a matter of time, and the crowd was not too great for that match between Savage and DiBiase. Same with Miz and John Cena. I don't think they had a terrible match. I think they suffered from the fact that the crowd was dead because all they were doing was sitting there on their hands waiting for The Rock to show up. And that's exactly what happened. Um, and then they set their match and again I was kind of caught up in the moment of it and I was like yeah this is great. Every now and again you know, they'd revisit the feud and kind of do what they could over the year. Uh, the Survivor Series tag match you know, um, I didn't agree with because I thought, I thought Miz and Truth should have got the win that night because you know for Miz to say that he'd beaten The Rock, even though he hadn't really beaten The Rock, but he was just in the tag match, if they pinned Cena, it would, be, it would have been something that's, that Miz could have used, and I say Miz because our truth you know, was never really going to go anywhere as far as the Miz was. And that team was really hot at the time, and I just thought that, the, that it would have worked even better for the Cena-Rock feud for them to have lost, but there you go, The Rock. Rock wins, he's the man and all this, yeah, okay, impressive stuff, you know, in the match, but that's a tag match, let's see what he's like in a singles match. WrestleMania rolls around, uh, the build-up, I just thought, had been... Um, there was a night where The Rock did promos outside. I think it was like The Rock's History Lesson or something. That was great. That was really classic Rock stuff. When he's throwing Cena's stuff in the river, that might have been another show, actually. Um, but yeah, he did some good stuff, The Rock. Um, but, uh, I don't know, I was just like, okay, enough of this talking now. It's been so long just, just to see this match. We saw the match, WrestleMania 28. Um, I think it was a... I think it was a I think it was a great match that could have been an awesome match. Um, they did a lot of things right, but at the end of the day, you know, when John, John Cena is in the biggest match he has ever had in his life, and this is a guy who's, you know, been in the spotlight for like well over 10 years, the biggest match he's ever had, and he can't take a simple back bump properly. You know, I mean, <sighs> you're in the main event, the biggest match in so long, and Cena goes to take the rock bottom, and he kind of just puts his feet down like, oh my god. Um, and you can't really take points away from a match for simple things like, you know, the move not going perfectly or whatever, but it was just like, oh, come on, man, really? And then, you know, the Rock wins or whatever, and I was actually quite happy with that because I thought it was predictable that Cena would win. Rock wins, and oh, that was pretty cool. You know, it was disappointing, bit of a letdown, but overall I quite enjoyed that match. And uh, I have the Blu-ray of their feud and, and everything, and I think it's great. I really enjoy it. I, I like bits of their feud, you know. Uh, but ultimately I just think like the rock side of that whole thing up until 28 was so weak you know Cena would come out 
he would tear the rock like completely apart and have so many valid points and would just rip the rock to shreds and the rock would come out and just be like I'm gonna kick your candy ass and then the, the crowd was just like oh my god that was the best you know and then you know what all the stupid names that you are seen as lady parts now trending and it's just like this is like a fight between two men right who could just kick any of our asses really just these two hulking tanks of men and they're bickering over a website on Twitter. That's not a few. Can you see Rock and Austin tweeting to each other in like the prime of like WrestleMania 17? No, no, no. Fuck off with that shit. I really did not like that. You know, it was just like this is a social media feud from for the most part. And it was uh, I didn't like that. And the Rocks just had no real argument. Just that you know I do this for the people. I'm going to kick your candy ass. Just same shit recycled over and over again. Now I love the Rock. Love The Rock, particularly back in 2000, that he was just ama amazing back then. And he still has some of what he has now, but I honestly don't think he cares as much as he says he does. And I'm not going to be like, oh, you know, he doesn't care about wrestling. He does care about wrestling, but he doesn't care about it as much as he thinks, as much as he says he does, and as much as you think he does. Because it's now WrestleMania 29, and fuck it, let's just get, let's just do it chronologically. Uh, so Rock wins. And then, uh, you know, he comes back in July and he's like, I'm challenging someone for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble. And it's like, okay. Uh, and then Punk turns heel on him and it's like, oh, wow, this is going to be awesome. This is going to be so much better than the John Cena thing. And it was. Their feud from, you know, the, the few weeks leading up to the Royal Rumble this year with CM Punk was awesome. I loved it. Uh, they did some good stuff. Really enjoyed it. When The Rock did that promo on SmackDown where he's like, I'm going to hold you up for the rock bottom. And you're going to be counting the seconds as you go down. One, two, three. That was good. That was classic rock stuff. The match at the Royal Rumble uh, was was pretty good. You know, they, they messed up a few times, and it was like, oh, that's a shame. And again, from WrestleMania 28, we saw that The Rock really has kind of um, cardio uh, issues because he, he's such a fucking tank now. He can't go the way he used to go. He he doesn't have that conditioning because he's twice the fucking size. Have you seen a picture of him now and a picture of him when he was actually wrestling in his prime? It's ridiculous. Only The Rock could make The Rock look like a pussy, as you've probably seen the the wrestling meme of that picture, you know, of Rock 2002, Rock 2012. Um, so, you know, he can still go, but it's just, just he hasn't got the full whack of the of his timing, and his timing was always the best part about his wrestling, in my opinion. Uh, Match of Punk, you know, he wins a title. Uh, you know, I, I feel like maybe Punk should have won that, and if The Rock was going to win the title, you know, have him win it at the Elimination Chamber, you know. Give Punk a win over The Rock, you know, and I was like, oh, we got to make him look strong. He's The Rock. He is a legend. Do you really need to make him look any more strong than he does, you know? Uh, and then they have the Elimination Chamber match, and the build-up to that was absolutely terrible. The Rock came out the week before Elimination Chamber and just did a promo about how he bought a car for Crackhead when he was 15. That was it. WWE Champion, you know, what did he do? He unveiled the new belts, fucked off, and then just didn't really do anything until Elimination Chamber. And then he had a really good match with Punk. That was I really enjoyed that match. And the fact that he uh, won again, I was fine with that because you know it was done and dusted by that point. Now we've got the run to WrestleMania. Rock and Cena did a great promo, but apart from that one time, where's Rock been? Nowhere. He's been off doing reality shows. He's been off promoting movies. He's been off on talk shows. Not even mentioning the fact that WrestleMania's in two weeks. He's been off uh, saying, "I want to do this new Star Wars film. I want to be a Bond villain." You know. And it's like, maybe start talking about that shit like after WrestleMania, you know? You really want, if, if The Rock is there, to bring in all this money, to bring in all this attention, right? As the WWE Champion in the main event against John Cena, why, two weeks before that show, is he out just talking about anything but WrestleMania? I mean, I've, I saw this interview, right? And he was like, oh yeah, you know, uh, I've got Conan coming out, I've got G.I. Joe coming out, and then between that I can do a bit of WWE, and then got the reality show, The Hero, and then, uh, you know, I'm so excited, I want to be in this Star Wars film, I want to be a Bond villain eventually, and all this, and then, oh, and of course there's WrestleMania as well, he mentioned at the very end. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's frustrating. Uh, it doesn't really bug me, but I just wanted to put my thoughts out there on the on the Rock's kind of return. He hasn't been fully Rock since he came back. He's He's been pretty much Dwayne doing a, a very good impression of The Rock, I think. Uh, and he's, you know, he's a, he's a decent actor. He could probably pull off being the full Rock if he had the, you know, the, the commitment, I guess. And I'm going to compare him to someone. I'm going to compare him to a guy called Chris Jericho, who is kind of in the same position, I would say. Jericho uh, is a better wrestler than The Rock. 
Uh, he's very close to him on the mic. He's wrestled a lot longer than The Rock. He has more experience than The Rock. He's had better matches than The Rock, in my opinion. Um, but he was never as big a star as The Rock. That is without question. And those two had great matches together as well, by the way. Um, I kind of see Jericho at this point in the same kind of career as a wrestler, uh, you know, from a wrestling standpoint, not like a popularity fame standpoint. You know, Jericho is, he's a legend now, you know, and coming back he doesn't need to, but he can still go, and he can go like he used to. And he comes back every now and again to the WWE, and what does he do? He does nothing but put people over because he knows that's what the business is all about and that is what you should be doing. He came back in 2012. Royal Rumble. Everyone thought he was going to win. He lost, put Sheamus over like a fucking champion. You know? And he just kept doing that. Punk. Did a huge program with Punk. Put him over like a champion. Well, an actual champion. Uh, did uh, this program with Ziggler. Did a great program with Ziggler. And he got a win at SummerSlam, but then he lost to him the, the night after, you know? And he's come back now, and he's just putting people over, and it's just, that's what it's all about, you know? And Jericho gets that. And when he comes back, he doesn't just do Raw, he didn't just do the pay-per-views, he goes in house shows, you know? And he wrestles because he loves it. And he, you know, it's... I just feel like, I'm not saying The Rock should be on house shows, but I am saying if he is the WWE Champion, he probably should be on Raw every week, building up to WrestleMania, you know? I mean, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's laughable. I, w I would go as far as to say that The Rock's WWE title reign has been the absolute worst, legit WWE title reign of all time. What I mean by legit is, you know, I'm not counting, like, uh, say, Jericho winning the title for, like, the hour that he won it, or when Vince won the title, or, you know, Kane's title run that was only a day long. The, the worst legit run as a champion. Um, and the thing is, I've got no problem with Rock Cena too. I think that's great. I've, I've got no problem with that. It's just the fact that they put the title on that match that I just thought, not needed, you know? It really isn't needed. I mean, it gives it a bit of extra kind of oomph, but apart from that, you know, the whole greatness versus redemption theme works perfectly without a WWE title in the, in the you know, in the uh, the catchphrase of the, uh, the buzzword of the match. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, though. I mean, I can't wait to see it, but, uh, yeah, just I feel like The Rock can come in and just basically you know, take take everyone for a ride and everyone's just like, yeah, he's the man and no one really kind of thinks about how little he's really committing to all this and how much he's taking away from the show uh, without really giving that much back into it, I think. That's, that's my thoughts on it. But nonetheless, looking forward to it. So, thank you for watching and probably some more wrestling-related videos coming soon. WrestleMania is two weeks away. I'm hyped. Hope you are. Thank you for watching. Yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> Not quite as cool as you, because... <laughs>